Welcome back, everybody. We are going to give a shout out to the team that went to the Philippines. They actually played in the Mall of Asia Arena and they went on quite a run. So this is some highlights that we put together about their run at the SMNBTC High School International Tournament. Here we go. All right, so I think this was the first game. It's kind of laggy because they actually put it live, right? Oh, live stream. Yeah, this is a live stream. So these are all high school, high school players. That's Tyler Garcia. Really, it's very well, interesting how yeah. they're playing college players, and these kids are high school here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> FEU against Durham. Oh wow! Yeah, that's Tyler with a left left hand layup over there. This is just a cut, and it's a different. If, if you were watching it live, it's a different game down there. It's very physical. Mm -hmm. uh, I know there was some comments on the live stream about the refs and stuff like that. <laughs> But um, yeah, this is the next game. They're facing, I don't know, I forgot what the, what the school was, but they're... FEU? No, FCPC. Oh. Okay. But yeah, they made, it, they made it like a high profile tournament. They had media coverage. Nice three over there. Boom! The future. This is how they recruit now. Yeah, they this is how people, they recruit. Huh? Like this, this is how they see the talent overseas. Oh, that's Tyler Garcia again. It's pretty cool because you play for your country too. There's there's four, yeah. I think four or four or five international teams there. There was like Italy. Italy uh, was there. Canada was there. There was Vancouver. But um, yeah. So this is just highlights of them playing. Very physical. Oh, look at that ball movement. The Spurs team down Ooh. there. Eh? <laughs> uh, that was, I think that's Denzel. Denzel Ferron. Oh. And I see them in PBA, at least. <laughs> PBA. <laughs> but like, imagine playing in this, this court right here. Look how big. Oh, that's a deep three. Bah! And for kids, especially, they have nerves. Like sometimes your first game, your heart is pumping. Yeah. You gotta get you. They're playing like a team, so it's pretty good. And especially if you're playing in the Philippines, it's all, it's like heat. Ooh, look at that move over there. Jeez! It's like hot down there too. You're, you're, yeah. And you're it's playing. hard to play in the Philippines. I remember playing uh, outdoors. Yeah. I was dead tired, and then my whole shirt is sweat, full of sweat. <laughs> I think you just get used to it. Yeah. But oh, these guys, they played in this tournament. I think this is what their third, third or fourth time at the tournament. So the coaches, the coaching staff knew what to expect, right? Like how they play though. Yeah. So. There's a lot of the coach too, Ooh. like to go all the way to the Philippines, bring your kids and play. Yeah. That's, that's a commitment right there. There's definitely some, some Canadians want to go play in the Philippines. Again, it's like an experience that you can't... Oh, nice move. It's an experience that you can't, you know, replace, right? Yeah. If you go to the Philippines, play basketball, who can say that, right? And especially, it's a, it's a selection too. They have to do tryouts and figure out who's on the team. Santa Clarita. That's kind of a slap right there. It's like a 20 point, 20 point lead. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. A little Euro step. A Filipino step. Look at that. Nice pass. Bah! Wait, the far eastern. That's a college team. I think I think they have like a high school like a high school oh, division. Kind of like yeah, LaSalle, I guess. yeah, so, like, okay, like okay. a Lasalle. Yeah, I'm like, wow, they're playing college. Yeah, but prior to this, all all these teams had to rank first too. Yeah. So it's not like they just entered. So they all had. That's the thing with these Filipino teams. Like they invitation. all had tournament. Yeah, they had yeah. a tournament. They had like games before this. So I think it's even harder for these guys because they just come there and play. You know, these the, the other teams already played I guess each other, and they made it to the rankings there. Oh, three-pointers. Jeez. A lot of three-pointers there. But yeah, these guys, I think they also had different these tournaments. Guys jumping Ooh. all the way down there. <laughs> the Damian deep. Lillard, Steph Curry. And I think they made it the furthest they did because I think last year they didn't make it to the quarters, but this time they made it to the quarters. They almost made it to the semifinals, but they lost to FEU, who they beat in the beginning. So... It's crazy how like how we are kind of getting to the basketball world. Yeah. Because back in the day, it's like you can't. Oh, basketball is just a hobby. 
you know, some of the parents will say, yeah. oh, you can't do anything with that. You know how many people will work so hard to the NBA. Yeah. And now, like, you know, Canadians going down to Philippines. That's something you know, should uh, be Definitely grateful. Definitely, like, a bigger, bigger opportunity now, yeah. you know, just to, be, uh, just to have the opportunity to play in the Philippines, right? And, um... Ooh, nice The pass. Virginia, you know, or the point guard is only 5'9", but... Yeah, yeah. Pass. Yeah, but not the Jordan Clarkson, basically. <laughs> yeah. Oh. But they, they were up this whole game. Unfortunately, they couldn't close this game. But it still doesn't... It still doesn't... It still doesn't mean that they didn't do a good job in the tournament, right? They made it as far as they could, and I guess next year they'll have a new new squad. But it came down to the wire there, and yeah, it's crazy, crazy game, crazy game, crazy experience for all of them. What do you think about? I guess I think you watched, you know, some of those players on that team, Justin. What do you think about some of the plays that you saw? It was really uh, very skilled, yeah. well done, and I just hope. In the next level, they can just keep it up, keep up the effort, and keep up the intensity, especially because in the Philippines or even in nationally, and for like America, players are taller, so you got to know how to operate. Because sometimes Filipinos are quite smaller than the usual, mm -hmm. so we got to keep up that skill. And watching the video, they do have the talents. And so. you mentioned you mentioned uh, Kia Clark. Did you watch that game? Did you watch that? Yeah, with Virginia. Yeah, 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 yeah. he. He got some he got some good minutes and he's yeah. like a freshman too, right? So. Yeah, he's a fast first. Uh, yeah. I mean, fast first um, uh, point guard. So yeah. it's something. He's only a freshman, so that's true. We'll see him more. So Filipinos are being on that, and he, yeah. I think he's the only the second second Filipino or Filipino that won a title because there's what I think I saw an article where one Filipino was on oh, a really? winning oh. uh, Final Four squad yeah. i think long like 1970s yeah. or something but kia clark is now yeah. the second yeah. so that's quite an accomplishment and plus he had a lot of playing time it's not like yeah. he was on the bench just like watching yeah. the story so, of that team is good because because yeah. um last year they lost first round i guess a 16 seed yeah and then this year when they got clark uh everything changed so yeah. maybe he's the <laughs> x factor <Yeah>. you, know? <laughs> you, you never know any shout outs you like to give anyone that you'd like to shout out to justin a shout out to Crossover and just keep keep practicing and keep pursuing your dreams. Oh, very yeah. deep. Yeah. <laughs> James, how about you? Um, shout out to Nick Nurse. Oh, uh, you I know, just wanna, you know I, I just oh. want to shout him out. <laughs> because, um, you know, Orlando, I mean, Vucevic had a good season with, with the Raptors, mm -hmm. averaging 20 points, 16 rebounds yeah. against the Raptors. Yeah. And then he's just not there. This game one and game two, he's not doing... Great. So that means like Nick Nurse changed some defensive scheme, but yeah. you know, shout out to him. He did a great job. But that's what people not, don't realize about Nick Nurse because yeah. people think it's he's uh, the rook he has the rookie jitter, uh, jitters. He's, you know, he's shout making out to moves. Him, you know? He's making moves. I, like that. I thought you knew him. I'm like, get him on the <laughs> I wish, show. I wish. Um, other shout outs. Oh, shout out to I think Matthew Wright. I think their their team is also in the PBA. I think in their playoffs right now. Oh. And oh, Camille Claren, who was on the show, she just got onto Team Philippines. On uh, yeah, she's. I think she has a jersey of. She's on the team of Team Philippines for oh, ladies nice. or something. So that's pretty big. So congrats to them. Uh, other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed the show. Keep talking, comments, and uh, keep following the show. All our platforms. But any, anything else? Stay balling. <laughs>